Hi, so let's start with the first lesson of our course that is frequency distribution. So what is frequency distribution? Frequency distribution is table in which the data are grouped into classes on the basis of a common characteristics and the number of cases which fall in each class are recorded. So basically, we are saying that our frequency distribution is a tableau representation which we group the whole data in classes. And after that, on the basis of some common characteristics, maybe a gender, that there are males or females, maybe age groups like 2 years old, 3 years old, 4 years old or maybe uh, people who are from age group 0 to 10, then 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. And we will see how many number of observations are falling in each category. So let's take an example. There is a room in which we have, a day, in which we have uh, many people. Let's assume there are 10 people in the room. So we are recording the ages of all these people. So we get something like this. These are all children. So let's simply, now what we'll do is, we'll simply write it as like this. First of all, we have written all our observation. Then we'll put tally marks. Tally marks just to represent our frequency. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, we have a 4. Again, we have a 3. Then we have a 2. Then we have a 1. Then we have a 2. Then we have a 3. And then we have a 4. So now we'll represent how many bars have we created. 2, 3, 3, 3. So I'm kya bolenge? That this which is representing our ages, this x is our representing our ages, these are our common characteristics that is represented by age. And these are my frequency. This e individual frequency is the frequency of children under the age group of 1. And these are my tally bars. So what I am saying is this entire table of 3 is our frequency distribution that is where I am representing only these two variables x and then we have it's representing frequency that is 2 3 3 3 so this is my frequency distribution therefore my carry okay common characteristics with my classes and which individual my frequencies like that you keep a particular category make kidney observations are here so what do we table okay that is my frequency distribution right so, we have the frequency distribution for each class. We have recorded observations. So, basically, frequency is the number of times and uh, number of times observations occur in a particular class, or number of times, uh, number of times, uh, the, uh, number of times, or the frequency is basically number of times an observation occurs. So, now let's talk about types of frequency distribution. Now, there are different types of frequency distribution. First of all, about the univariate frequency distribution and bivariate frequency distribution. Basically, the classification is it's based on the number of variables. When we are talking about univariate, we are saying single variable. But when we are talking about bivariate, we are talking about two variables. When I'm saying univariate, I'm simply saying that I'm 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 in, uh, either it's male or female but when I'm talking about bivariate I'm simply saying I'm taking two variables that is maybe a female with an age group of 5 to 10 years so what I'm doing is I'm taking categories kaise bana rahi I'm taking about females then I'm writing out all the age groups then I'm talking about all the males and then I'm writing down all the age groups right but when I am talking about univariate frequency distribution, I simply tell you that I am talking about either males ki baat kar rahi I mean, uh, I am talking about either gender, that is males and females ki frequencies all together. I am further classifying it. Or I am simply talking about age groups. I am saying all the people under the, cat, uh, under the age of 10. I am not saying all the males. I am talking about only all the people under the age of 10. So, then we are age distribute kar rahe. But here we are talking about that all the females under the age of 10 are, uh, are recorded in one class. But here we are saying all the, all the people under the age of 10. So we consider all the people consider in univariate. In this we are considering only for a particular gender. So that is bivariate where we are taking two variables. But univariate we are single variable consider kar rahe, that is age. Or then only gender. But bivariate we are considering both gender and age. Uh, throughout the syllabus, we will be talking about univariate frequency distribution. So now, our univariate frequency distribution is basically uh, further classified into three types.
types of frequency distributions, series of individual observations, discrete frequency distribution, continuous frequency distributions. Now we'll understand it one by one. So what is series of individual observations? When we are talking about series of individual observations, I am simply telling you, I have data. Hai. So I have all the ages hai, of the people, uh, all the children, or maybe anyone or uh, number of all ages of people right now in the park. So it can be any age, right? So is jab main iski baat kar rahi hu, to main simply itna kehti hu ki aapne data ko ya to ascending order mein likhungi ya fir descending order. When I'm saying ascending order, I'm simply saying chote se bada. That the lowest value first and the highest value at the last. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, thirty four, thirty five, forty two. But when I'm saying my maximum value first, so I'll reverse my entire order forty two. 35, 34, 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this thing is my series of individual observations. Let's talk about discrete frequency distribution. Discrete frequency distribution is similar to what we had before. Tally bars. Tally bars how? So let us assume we have a particular data. This may we have a particular like uh, these are again age of people in a room 55, 51, 42, 47, 26, 23, right? Um, then I can say it's 21, uh, maybe 19, 81, and 84. So, I have data, uh, okay, 51, 55. Again, 51, 51. So these are all my observations in my in a particular room. I will write my whole data. Ko. Well, I'll write my x and these are my frequencies. Ascending or descending order. Mein so, first of all, let me write my data in ascending order. That is chote se bada. So first value is 19. Then I have is 21, right? 21. Then I have is 23. Then I have is 26. Then I have is um, 42, 47, 42, 47, 42, 47 ke baad I have 51, 55, 51 and 55. Then I have is 70 and 81. So this is my entire data. I may have a data. My data is not going to So now what I will do is I will simply mark make the tally bars. So I have 70 aya one time. Right? So, I uh, 70 ek bari aya, uske baad I have got 55, then I have is 51, then I have is 42, 47, then I have is 26, 23, 21, then I have is 19, then I have is 81, I have 84 with me, then I have 51 again, then I have 55. Then I have 51 two times, then I have 55. So, I will make tally bars, right? So, let me write it as tally bars. And these are also my tally bars. So, I simply make the frequencies note. Kar lungi. So, this is my tally bar. So, I will simply make the frequencies note. Kar lungi. Which is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 3. This is again all 1, 1. So, this is the entire table. Hai, this is my frequency distribution हमने पहले भी यही बात की थी so this is our frequency distribution in discrete observations discrete series का मतलब है particular values like 19, 21, 23 we are not talking about intervals we are simply saying a particular value it can be also be like males or females but a particular observation it's not about the entire broader groups of classes like males and females it's only about males or either females if we are classified on the basis of gender or like age we have particular ages we are not talking about intervals like 0 to 10 10 to 20 or 20 to 30 so now let's talk about our third classification that is our continuous frequency distribution when we talk about continuous frequency distribution now we are talking about classes for example we have a data in which we are recording our marks so, now we are talking marks ki record marks. Here we are talking about intervals. That is 15 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 
25 to maybe 35 and then we have 35 to 45 45 to 55 and 55 to 65 and so on and here I am representing my frequencies that is number of children who are getting marks between 15 to 25 I am recording here total number of students who are getting marks between 25 to 35 I am recording here and so on now this is one thing that when the marks 25 will come I will record them so to understand this concept we will talk about two things first exclusive method and inclusive method अच्छा इस पर जानते हैं हम एक चीज समझते हैं जब हमने continuous frequency distribution की बात की हमने यहाँ पे कहा कि we have classes for the marks और maybe we have ages के लिए भी हमारे पास classes हैं groups हैं जिसके अंदर there are many people but यहाँ पर हम बात करें थे individual particular age की हम यहाँ पे particular marks की भी बात कर सकते थे लेकिन यहाँ पर हमें group like we are taking a range of marks 15.5, 15.6 सारे मार्क्स इसके अंदर आ जाएंगे ठीक है अब जहाँ पर जब मैं एक क्लास कह रही हूँ 15 टू 25 हम इसको पहले समझते हैं वैन आई एम सिंग 15 टू 25 तो इसमें हमें कुछ बातें समझनी है सबसे पहले लेंथ ऑफ क्लास इंटरवल इज 10 राइट right? यहाँ पे लेंथ ऑफ क्लास इंटरवल क्या हो गया 25 फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन विच इज इक्वल टू टेन सेकेंड वाले की क्या हो गई थर्टी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी इक्वल टू Okay, so that is my length of class. Now we have class limits. So when I am talking about class limits, I am simply saying this 15 and this 25 are my class limits. 15 is my lower limit of a particular class and 25 is my upper limit of a particular class. So this one kya kya te Upper or lower limit. ये जो लेंथ होती है उसको हम एक और नाम से कहते हैं वी टॉक इट अबाउट एज विड्स ऑफ क्लास लेंथ को हम विड्स की बात भी कहते हैं लेंथ इज आल्सो अ विड्स ऑफ द क्लास तो फिर हमने ये जो और हमने जो एंटायर डेटा ये रिप्रेजेंट किया दैट इज दिस एंटायर टेबल मार्क्स एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस इज माय फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर अ कंटीन्यूअस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट अच्छा अब हम बात करते हैं एक्सक्लूसिव मेथड एंड इंक्लूसिव मेथड की मैन आई एम सींग इंक्लूसिव मेथड मैं सिंपली क्या कह रही हूँ जब मैं कह रही हूँ एक्सक्लूसिव के लिए मैं सिंपली कह रही हूँ लेट सपोज कि वी हैव दिस क्लासेस तो जब हमारी लोअर लिमिट ऑफ वन क्लास दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव इज सेम एज द अपर लिमिट ऑफ द प्रीवियस क्लास मतलब अपर लिमिट प्रीवियस क्लास की इज द सेम एज द लोअर लिमिट ऑफ द नेक्स्ट क्लास तो मतलब अब मेरी यहाँ के अपर लिमिट क्लास वन की इज सेम एज द लोअर लिमिट ऑफ क्लास टू तो दिस इज माय एक्सक्लूसिव सीरीज सीरीज बट इसमें एक वो चीज़ होती है जो हम इसमें फ्रीक्वेंसीज लिख रहे हैं सपोज कि हमारी फ्रीक्वेंसी में देर इज अ मार्क ट्वेंटी फाइव अब हम उसको कहाँ इंक्लूड करेंगे अपर क्लास में या लोअर क्लास में हम हम हमेशा उसको लोअर क्लास हम हमेशा उसको उस क्लास में डालते हैं उस ऑब्जर्वेशन ग्रुप में डालते हैं जिसमें वो लोअर लिमिट हो लाइक like हम अपनी इसको सेकेंड क्लास में डालेंगे क्योंकि हम हमेशा ट्वेंटी फाइव को अपनी फर्स्ट क्लास से एक्सक्लूड करेंगे अपर लिमिट इज ऑलवेज एक्सक्लूडेड इन अ एक्सक्लूसिव सीरीज राइट बट और हम उसको उस क्लास में डालेंगे जो हम जहाँ पर हमारी उसकी लोअर लिमिट होती है राइट सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इंक्लूसिव सीरीज लेकिन जब हम बात करें इंक्लूसिव सीरीज क्या अपनी सीरीज को किस तरीके से लिखते हैं फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी फोर एंड फोर्टी फाइव से फिफ्टी फोर दैट इज़ हम यहाँ पे कह रहे हैं कि ट्वेंटी फोर मार्क्स जिसके आए हैं दैट विल बी इंक्लूडेड हमारी इसी क्लास में एंड जिसके ट्वेंटी फाइव आए हैं वो हमारी इस पर्टिकुलर क्लास में आएंगे जिसके फोर्टी फाइव आए हैं वो इसमें आएंगे फोर्टी फोर मार्क्स वाले इसमें आएंगे सो so, इसमें कोई ओवरलैपिंग नहीं हो रही क्लास लिमिट्स की एंड हमारी वो इंडिविजुअली अपनी क्लासेस में सेट हो Right, so this is my exclusive series. This is my inclusive series. This is my upper limit. This is my lower limit, and this is my length of or width of the classes twenty five minus fifteen. So this is my continuous frequency distribution. Just we are intervals le rahe hain, lekin discrete me hum kahe tha me nojo numbers le rahe hain. 
एंड जब हम इंडिविजुअल सीरीज के बारे पे हम हम बात कर रहे थे वी वर सिंपली सेइंग कि उसमें कोई रेपिटेशंस नहीं है ये रेपिटेशंस होते हैं दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सीरीज ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जर्वेशंस एंड डिस्क्रीट फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशंस सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू